be able to bring something a little bit different to you. Tom Lydon with you, and I'm in the kitchen of Tom Themistocles. Hello, sir. Hello, Tom. How Thanks are for, you? I'm okay. This is a very formal for us. <laughs> very I've, f- I've known you for a long time uh, as a coach and as a parent, and now you are a candidate for the school committee, which Cor- I find very intriguing. And I'm going to get the chance to talk to all three of you who are running for the two open seats. You're the first of my three conversations. And I, th- I think there's a lot of people in Westwood who just want to learn more about you, understand your motivations, uh, your assessment of the Westwood school system, and what really motivated you to do this. So I'll ask you those individually. You didn't have to take notes or anything, but <laughs> just give a little overview for the people who don't know who you are about you know what you're all about, your family, what you stand for, and kind of we'll start there. Yeah, certainly. And thank you for doing this. This is, uh, this, this is a good opportunity, and I think it makes it a little bit easier to meet all the candidates than, you know, having to go and, you know, go to a meet and greet or where, whatever people are doing. So I, I, I do appreciate that you're doing this. So yeah, my name's Tom Themistocles. It's definitely going to be the hardest last name to pronounce. You get used to it over time. <laughs> all the candidates. So yeah, I've been in Westwood for about nine years. I'm the father of four. I have a student who's 15. I have a student who's 13, I have a student who's 11, and I have a student who's four. I guess he's in pre-K, so I'm not sure if he's considered a student yet, but he'll be in kindergarten next year um, at Martha Jones. I live with my lovely wife, Tara, who I've been married to since uh, 2006, and we, um, we've got the, the broad spectrum of, of students here at our household. I grew up in Hanover, Massachusetts. My mom was in the Hanover public school system for over 31 years. I've always kind of had a, you know, a need that I, I need to, somehow I got to give back to the education system because when I was growing up, we, we didn't have much. We were, we were a very poor family. In fact, we, I think we ate um, American chop suey for about two straight years. So that's never going to be on my menu because I just, it makes, <laughs> <laughs> it makes me shiver when I see it. The Hanover public school system gave my mom, you know, a lot. She was a kindergarten teaching assistant for a long time. She served as the shop steward to the teachers union. And she's always kind of stressed that, you know, when you, when you feel part of a community, the best way to, to give back is volunteering your time to the education system. So I've been thinking about it for a number of years. And I just finally said, you know, I think maybe I, I think I might have the time this year. I, I've kind of been relieved of some coaching duties. My sons are kind of at that age where they, they're not going to listen to anything I say anymore. So <laughs> I, I do have kindergarten soccer to look forward to, but I'll, I'll have some, some extra time. So I, I figured, why not? I'll give it a shot. Give it the old college try this year. So what's your impression of the, what you've experienced with the Westwood schools? And how do you think you can make the biggest difference? Yeah, so I mean, I've seen the, I've seen the, the whole progression. My daughter, we, we, we moved here. Ava was... Um, she was, I think, th- either third or fourth grade. So now she's in high school, and, and I've, my sons have gone through kindergarten. And like I said, I have the, I have the broad range of, of learners at my house. I have a student who takes AP courses. I have a, a student who's on a 504, and I have a student who's dyslexic. So I've been through the IEP process, which can be daunting and scary for a lot of people. And I think having experience personally with it, I have some insight to offer. And just seeing each level of school, I feel like I can offer some perspective to everybody. I'm a, I'm a good listener. I'm a quick learner. I'm, I'm learning daily. I give everyone in the education world, this is no joke. There's a lot of work that goes into it. And the school committee is a, it's a thankless job, which but I'm doing this because I want to give back to the kids, all the kids in this town. One of the things that we've had the chance to talk about offline here is your experience professionally and how your experience professionally can help benefit this panel because it really is a panel. You know, you're oh, running for their two open seats and whoever gets those, each one of those individuals will be 20% of a voting body. So what have you learned professionally that can help you out operating in that type of environment? Yeah, that's a good question. So since I graduated college, um, I've pretty much exclusively been in, been exclusively been in the financial industry. I did spend a year in Copenhagen, uh, Denmark, playing football uh, right when I graduated. But after that, I, I was primarily on Wall Street. I then moved to the Virgin Islands for a few years, and again was all involved in 
and finance. So I just think with this uncertain economy that we're facing and with rising interest rates and record inflation that I can offer a little perspective with financial matters. We've got a new brand new superintendent coming in. We have saw the, the issues with the budget that just got passed this year. So I feel like I can offer some good perspective on financial matters when it comes to uh, school committee. As you formulate, I, I guess, what's ultimately a platform, right? Every candidate's got a platform that they stand for. What are the highlights of what you'd like to see happen? Because I don't even like to ask the question, what do you want to see change? Because it's not necessarily about change. It's about these are the type of things I'd like to prioritize. Right. So for me, and like you said, this isn't going to be a change, but academic excellence in this town is second to none. So I want to see, I want to help sustain and maintain and advance academic excellence for all the students. You know, Westwood has been historically had such, you know, high rankings with, with public schools in Massachusetts. I want to continue to uphold the academic uh, integrity. And I would be, you know, focusing on math, science, writing, reading, STEM. Th those would be my areas of focus and keeping all students in the best spot that they can be in this, in this uh, school system. That's where I want you to build, because you talked about the wide range that you have in your own household. So you've learned it all. You've had the high-performing student who's, you know, getting straight A's in, in the AP classes, but you've also dealt with other issues that other families deal with every single day. So what have you learned about those who are uh, on an IEP plan or the challenges that somebody who has dyslexia deals with on a daily basis? And how can those students be better served? Right. So Westwood's been, has been, historically been, incredible with the special education needs in this town. There are kids from other towns that come to school here. I know of a few that are extremely grateful to have Westwood as an asset for their, for their own kids. I'm in the same camp. Uh, I've seen how rigorous these teachers and these academic people work with, with all the kids in, in the school system. I'm not coming in to try to you know, change anything. I'm, I'm just trying to you know, offer whatever help I can for the entire school system. What's your hope for the next couple of weeks? Because we were all here a year ago, and it, it got a little ugly at times with, with the race. I, I anticipate that probably won't be the case now, but you know we're four weeks away, right? Four weeks out from yeah, Election Day. Out. What do you anticipate? Yeah, I, I, so I, this is, I'm learning every day. This is, uh, this is new to me, campaigning and social media. Just, it's all, this is all new to me, so I'm learning day to day. I'm, I'm, my ears are open. My mind is open. So I'm hopeful that people will get out and vote for me on April 25th. I know you have a website. I don't remember the URL though, so I'm sure that's probably the best first step if someone's interested in learning more about you. Yes, it's votetomforwestwood.com. That's votetom, the number four, westwood.com. And once you get on there, you'll find my email address and uh, reach out and I'll get back to you with you know any questions that you may have. I wish you all the best. I appreciate a couple of minutes. Everybody, that's Tom Themistocles running for school committee here in Westwood, Massachusetts. Thanks, bud. Tom, thanks. Be good.